All you can see is this point, that affirmative action, all actions are, affirm are affirmative, or they couldn't be actions, and that it's two types of affirmative action, and that is affirmative action for white supremacy and affirmative action against it. And this asks people, what, you know, wh which stand are you going to take? Now, in addition to that, I'm going to say this. The term itself never should have been coined, and everything was doomed when we allowed that term to be used with no definition, because now everybody who's a left-handed tennis player can ask for affirmative action. That's what everybody started doing. See, the gay rights movement and everybody else asking for affirmative action. Same thing that happened with civil rights. All rights are civil, or they wouldn't be rights. See, so they, anytime you slide it away from the white supremacy words, you're going to lose it. When you use minority, forget it. Everybody's a minority. People who, you know, get drunk on Saturday night, you know, on just a special brand of whiskey can be called a minority. And so we bought into it, and you asked the question, what can we do? We really can't do anything because we lost the word war right from the beginning by accepting terms that didn't make sense. For years, I went around screaming, you can't do nothing with a term like affirmative action. It doesn't have a definition. Racial integration doesn't have a definition. This is why you can't find a racially integrated black person. It has no definition. You can't quantify it. If you can't measure it, there's no way for you to do anything with it.